Well, back to another episode on the Jeep. Uh, we've got a few things I'm waiting on to get in for the Corvette so we can assemble uh, the bumpers, etc. I will start wet sanding it uh, as soon as I can get a uh, chance to get over to the supply house. I run out of the 3000 grit, but uh, today being Tuesday the 18th, uh, I'm working on the uh, hubs today, changing out the wheel studs. Yeah, I got set up here on the uh, little Enco mill this afternoon, and uh, we know not to ever drive those out. Uh, Brian over Metal Shavers would probably punish me if I tried to drive them out, but uh, he taught me well. I never realized that they had that little mushroom ring when they, they were set from the factory, and you could damage the hub real quick. So you guys know better to put them up under press, try to press them out. You will break your hubs especially the age that these got on them. Uh, let me put my air protection on and uh, we've already taken off. Uh, I don't know if you can see over here on the bandsaw. I kind of like to save my end mills as much as I can. I was gonna use a side saw, but uh, could not get down in there comfortably. So we do, uh, I've got six more to do on another wheel. I'm not going to use the left-hand threads. I'm going to have everything right-hand thread, so there won't be nobody uh, in the future snapping off studs. This one had uh, these, and then the left hands were all boogered, been hammered so hard. So let's uh, turn on the mill here a minute, and uh, always use the protection. Now you can see we're already set right over the top of the existing one. I'm just now at flush. So let us uh, go down. And we're gonna go counter sink this about a, oh two, three thousand. Get all this safety stuff off for a minute so I can see. And uh, you guys probably everywhere in the country, there's a Dollar General store. And uh, I like to use these. They're uh, $2 most time, dollar, it dollar tree, but Dollar General, a dollar. This is very good lubricant. And uh, when you're in a pinch and you run out of the regular milling uh, oil, stuff like I have, I just pick up 10 of these cans, keep them on hand. Very good cooling action. And uh, so today uh, you'll see what we did here and then uh, we'll be taking out the races here pretty quick, uh, getting these all cleaned up. I uh, did not put these in the sand blaster yet. I'm gonna cap these off so I don't get anything inside both sides before I sand blast them. And uh, I guess maybe behind you, you can see First time in a long time. Shop's still crowded, but uh, we did uh, on the uh, last four, uh, episode one, or part one, episode one of the Corvette, it's in. So, still gotta get the uh, other Mercedes and this 28 Nash out. If anybody's got any interest in uh, any of my cars, and you see in the video, or the Alaskan Camper, uh, I have nine Mercedes sitting out here. Most of them are all Texas title cars. Uh, great for parts. Uh, you Jeep lovers would like the Mercedes diesels. I've got uh, four of the 240s. Uh, three of them have the four speeds in them. One of them has the automatic. Wouldn't do you any good unless you like automatic in a Jeep. Be quite a booger to change over. Yes, you have to uh, modify the oil pan to clear the... Uh, Banjo Pumpkin, uh, either whether it be on right, like a YJ is, or the other newer models are the CJs, which are over on the right side. But uh, it's not a big ordeal. Sweet little motors. The yellow car right behind us here is a 300 non-turbo. Uh, it's got 52,000 original miles. Uh, a doctor decided he didn't no longer want it when the transmission went out, and so we bought it. Uh, one day I'll put the wife in it. Her SL is now up for sale. 
It's a 1981 380 uh, SL. Beautiful car. 152,000 miles. All brand new English uh, leather in it uh, from Germany. Sewn up. Might have been sewn up in England. I'm not for sure, but it did come from overseas from uh, the Euro industry. So, thumbs up again, please. Yeah. I better wash this thing one of these days. Mm. Uh, thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, we will be jumping back and forth for a little bit. Uh, gentleman from the sandblasting company right down the road is coming today. I uh, said, I think in video four or five it was going, but uh, he's been busy. Uh, I had to scrape up the funds, and now that the hackers are gone, hopefully uh, I'll continue to work on the uh, CJ5 along with the vet. So come back, subscribe, and uh, have a wonderful February. Hope uh, spring comes around the corner real quick. Uh, we didn't have much of a winter, but I'm ready for good 70, 80 degree weather right now. And then we can get out and start feeling better. And come back and visit with us. Thank you for watching.